Right, so just a, a quick YouTube video of this, uh, well, of our uh, VW T25 or T3 uh, Devon camper. So I've got it listed on eBay. So I'm just going to do a quick YouTube video around it so for, for people can see it a bit better, a bit more information um, through the video. Uh, so you can see it's uh, it's X, so it's uh, 1982 in the year, manufactured 1981, um, sold 1982. Uh, which makes this uh, a classic so this is on historic tax now um, so it's no tax no MOT uh, required this CC to totally uh, tax and MOT exempt and um, this is the two litre air cooled engine so it's, it's quite good it's quite nippy uh, totally keeps up with traffic um, blue is not the original colour um, but it has been painted professionally uh, sometime in the past, long before we got it, um, and it's also been updated on the uh, on the logbook. Uh, so I'm just going to do a, a bit of a video there, so you can see it's got the uh, totally original interior in the front. Um, you can see it's, it's, I know they go under here. It's, it's, it's dry, bone dry under there. Uh, you can see all all the steel like that. It's really, really in, in good condition. Dashboard's pretty good. Uh, it's just got the, uh, you know, the, the standard heater controls. So the, the heater doesn't work. Um, we've never used it. We, we've only used this in the summer, so we've, we've never needed the heater. I'm, I think if you do your research, uh, it's quite common. I, I think it's just the motor in there that, that goes. But I've never done any uh, investigation. Could be a fuse. Don't know. Never used it. Um, and it's got a, an aftermarket stereo. The stereo is quite new. It's a Sony. Uh, that all works. It's, it's got Bluetooth. I've, I've never connected it to the phone. Never tried. But I guess that's what the Bluetooth means. Um, other than that, inside the you see the roof line in there is all okay. Uh, and it's uh, we're sitting on. Just over 75,000 miles. That's original mileage. 75,000 original miles. Um, no power steering on this model. It's a bit before power steering. Uh, but steering's alright though actually. And then if we look into the back. So it's all original interior. Uh, somebody has covered the, uh, the cabinets and that at some point in this kind of felt carpet. It kind of looks okay. Yeah. Might want to change that. I probably would if we was going to keep it uh, ourselves. So there would have been a fridge here originally. Um, it's 40 years old. Fridge is usually uh, rust and corrode. So that's been taken out. Uh, but they are quite easy to find uh, if you want to put one back in. We just always use a cool box so we never bothered. Um, there's the original sink. Uh, again, the sink's not, the, the water is not plumbed in. It's just there's, there's, there's the connection there for a hose. The drainage is all plumbed in. Um, but again, we, we never use the sink. Uh, so this is the cooker, cooker's all original, like I say, so this is the original cooker, and this is, this is, uh, it's quite good, we, we do use this, we use it quite a, quite a bit whenever we've been away, that pops up, and then there's, uh, there's the grill under there, so that all, that all works pretty good, so if I Stand a bit further back, you can see it with a side door open. Um, so the the portal pot is new, that's included, uh, and there's the electric cable there for when you want to be on the 240 volt mains. Uh, this table just lifts out, just a standard table, but the top's been changed at some point. Um, and then we have the rock and roll bed. You can see the cushions are all original. Um, and then of course this is the Devon, so it's the pop top, and to, to pop the top, it's literally these two clamps. Stand in here and give that a push. That's the top. Pop top. So it's the original Devon pop top. That's all in great condition. No rips or anything in the uh, in the vinyl canvas, whatever you call it. And then this inside, you can see. So if you're not uh, familiar with this like particular model, that makes a double bed up there. You literally slide that across and then that makes a double bed up here so we've got two little girls so whenever we've gone we've, we've put the two kids up here which is quite big it's quite a bit of room and then myself and my wife sleep on the rock and roll bed uh, also up here is these 
silver window blinds they just they're all brand new they just suction into the windows give you a bit of insulation and, and privacy so under here you can see under there there's a an almost new leisure battery uh, and there's the uh, the heater the night heater it's a heat source uh, heater which is pretty cool so that works down here so that that runs off off gas and the the leisure battery you literally just you just you turn it onto to that and uh, and then it blows hot air out through here and it's like a, you have a thermostat setting so you can turn it uh, you can turn it on set it to the, whatever temperature you like and it'll just click on and off throughout the night it's really really cheap to run that um so gas bottle this has got a bit of a, a unique system in it we've got a, a what they call a gas law system installed um, so if you just Google gas law, you'll see what, what that means. It's a really good bottle, so you don't take that bottle out. It's refillable. Um, it's just propane, so that, that gas bottle runs the, the cooker and the heater. Um, and we also used to run our gas barbecue off it. But the cool thing about the gas law system is you can fill it up yourself at any garage that sells LPG. It's just a standard LPG fitting. And I think it costs about seven or eight pounds to fill a full bottle. Where if you was going to go buy like a seven kilo bottle of gas like that, you're looking at about 30 quid at the moment. If you can get them, uh, I think a lot of the caravanners are struggling to get gas bottles at the moment. So we don't have that problem. You can see it there. So overall, it's in really good condition, especially for the for its age. Um, what I will, I'll just point out a couple of uh, bits on the bodywork. Um... This, this, this side's actually really, really good. Yeah, but you can see just at the back here, there's a little bit of seam rash coming through. But it's solid. It's nothing. It's not. It's never been touched up or out like that. Um, it's good for you to see it, really. Uh, there's a little bit there just on the back window that just wants filling. Um, but I haven't done any of that. I'd, I'd rather sell it just, just as it is. Um, and again, on this back panel, there's a bit of seam rash coming through and there's a little blob here uh, that's probably the worst bit on the old van uh, but again i've not tried to repair it uh, i'm just going to leave it as it is so you can see what it is um and then there's a bit of seam rash there and just a bit bubble in there that's it that's that's all i've got to point out on the bodywork every everywhere else um it was really good for a 40 year old van uh, but what I'm going to do is I've listed it on eBay and um, it'll be on an auction uh, and you're absolutely welcome to come look at it any trial uh, welcome come and have a look take it for a ride uh, see for yourself obviously before the bidding it's, it, it's on an auction so it's it, if you want to come and have a look at it please do before the bidding ends uh, you know don't bid on it then come and have a look uh, just come and have a look first if you want to if you want to come and see it absolutely no issue you can see the you can see this, the body works really good apart from those bits that i've pointed out which are not a big deal to me anyway i wouldn't uh, be too concerned with that uh, so it's uh so it's a two litre air cooled i'll show you the engine So to access the engine, you pull the uh, the cushioned panel out the back, uh, and then there's the the engine cover that just pops off, and then gives you access to the to the air cooled engine. So you can, I mean, you can see it's it's in pretty good nick. The engine it's really has been looked after. Uh, so this has got uh, an aftermarket carburetor on it. It's got a, a single Weber carb. Um, which also means that it's had an electric fuel pump fitted as well, uh, which takes out the need for uh, a choke. This would this this vehicle would have had a choke originally, I suppose, but it hasn't. It's it's an automatic choke now rather than a manual choke. Um, not really much else to show you, I suppose. See if I can show you underneath a bit. It's, if you can see really underneath in this light. That's just a copper pipe work from that heating system.
So that's it. I think I've covered everything there. There is a a, a nearly new awning. It's the, the camper air awning, a camper rally 260 air awning, especially for the VW. Uh, we bought that last year. We paid, we paid a thousand pounds for that. Um, used it twice. So that's uh, as good as new. That's with it as well. That'll be included. I'll put a photo of it in the in this video. Um, the only reason we're selling it is our friends have all got caravans now. So when we all go away, we're the only ones with a camper. It's a bit, it's a bit awkward, you know. We, they set the caravans up and then go out for the days in the cars. Um, so we're just we're just switching to a a, ca a, a caravan rather than a camper van. But this has been really cool. A lot of fun to drive. So I'll tell you what I'll do, for, for those that have never had a, an air cooled, we'll start it up so you can hear what the uh, what the air cooled sounds like. Oh. Drop the keys. Starts great. Give it a few revs so you can hear it. 